All right, welcome to module 6.10. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up dynamic retargeting. So we've touched on this a little bit in the past as far as what this is, but um, I wanna to talk to you again about what dynamic retargeting is. So I just have a question for you guys. Um, you know, I'm assuming most of you guys have like a Facebook page or I know that you've browsed the internet. And um, have you ever been to a web page or typed something in um, or even said something and then you're scrolling on Facebook or you're going around online and then all of a sudden like there's an ad for either something you were looking at um, or something that you have you know been interested in before and you're like wow this is so weird like why is this popping up like I was just on that website or I was thinking about that something like that right um, that is a dynamic retargeting ad and these can be super, super effective in our marketing campaigns. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up. So, you know, a dynamic remarketing ad looks something like this, like where, you know, you're scrolling on Facebook. This is a on Facebook, obviously, where you're scrolling down, scrolling down and, you know, you're looking at an Ikea ad and you're like, holy crap, like I was just looking at Ikea. You know, why is it showing up in my feed? That is why. Um, it, it is a, a dynamic retargeting ad, um, also known as a display ad in Google's. Um, that's what, what, that's what that is. So, and I will tell you this guys back in the day and by back in the day, I mean a few years ago, um, we had to do a whole bunch of really complicated steps to set these things up. Um, you know, you have to install like the tracking code onto your website. It takes a degree of coding knowledge, um, to actually be able to go in and do this properly. There's, you know, tagging to make sure everything's set up properly. Um, everything has to be working correctly between your Shopify store and with Google. And honestly, honestly, it can be kind of a headache to send up. It used to be kind of a headache to set up retargeting ads. But in this video, I'm going to show you a super, super simple way to set up some effective retargeting ads. And again, we're going to be using an app to do this. And the app that I want to show you guys is called ROI Hunter. And so if you type in ROI Hunter inside of the App Store search, and then you're gonna click on this guy right here. Um, and as you can see, it's by ROI Hunter. It's called Facebook and Google Easy Ads. And it really is simple, guys. So this is what I want you to add as an app. And when you do, it's going to give you a little icon like this. And we're just gonna click into it. And this is what it looks like. When you first come in, it's gonna ask you, it's gonna have the same button on this Google side. It's gonna say connect to Google ads. And the reason that I went past this step is because I wanna show you guys that um, in order for it to actually create the campaigns, because this is actually going to create campaigns in Google for you um, via this app. Um, it takes some time. So I'm actually recording this video after I've already set the app up so that I can show you examples of the campaigns. So essentially you're going to go through and you're going to connect your Google ads. Um, it's going to ask you to choose, um, your, uh, Google ads, like the number, um, it should actually be able to auto populate. Um, if you've gotten this far and have followed all the steps up to this point, um, then your Google ads account will already be in there. You can connect it and then it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, this is, I'm recording this after 24 hours and it's still under review, but our campaigns have already been made. So I'm going to actually show you what that looks like after we've gotten to this step. So we're inside of our Google AdWords here. And, um, if we come down to campaigns, then you'll see that we have the ones that we created in the previous videos, but then we also have these two, um, as you can see, as this ROI Hunter dynamic remarketing product views in dynamic remarketing cart abandoners. So essentially what this is doing is this is creating a campaign um, that is retargeting people or sending our ads, the display ads, you know, something that looks like this um, with, you know, your company and your product, the exact product that they viewed. And it's going to show that to them. And this actually creates the audiences for people that viewed the product and serves them those ads automatically via this app. So really cool stuff, guys, that it syncs and does that for us. This all used to be really like complicated stuff where we had to go through, create the um, manually create the um, the campaigns and the parameters and all of that good stuff. Um, 
you know, through this, um, through Google ads itself. Whereas now we can just basically click a couple buttons and get everything set up for us. So if you click into the, the account, as you can see, there are a bunch of different, um, ad groups inside of the campaign for the product viewers. So example, for example, this one is view product zero to seven days without an add to cart for 14 days. This one is view product zero to three days. Um, so there's a bunch of different ones that you can test. Um, you can choose to, you know, enable whichever ones you want. I usually choose the ones like a zero to seven days or add to cart without purchase 14 days. Something like this, this is, this is an example of the one that I would turn on, um, you know, between zero and seven days. After seven days, you know, you can test that as well. Um, feel free, but I would start out with something like this so that it's nice and fresh. So we're retargeting them within a week. You could even do like a, like 14 days, um, to be able to check out and see how those perform for you. And then, so we also have the dynamic remarketing card abandoners. So these are the people that went onto your store. They, um, put something in their cart, but then they abandon their cart. We've talked about this a little bit, but this remarkets, it creates an audience of those people that came onto the store, added something and left. And it basically serves our ads to those people based on these parameters. So add to cart 14 days without a purchase, um, add to cart for, between, uh, between four and seven days without a purchase, add to cart zero to seven days without a purchase, 14 days. So the, again, I would, um, I would be enabling this one to start. Um, of course you can try, you know, doing all of these, they're, di they're different campaigns. Everybody is gonna be placed in these different audiences, right? So for example, the, the people that have, you know, added something eight to 14 days ago um, without a purchase up to 14 days, then they will be in this campaign. So you can enable those um, to be able to target those people. But really guys, that's really it. That's it. That's really as, uh, as simple as it gets as far as this app goes. Um, is really just driving people in. Um, after you're doing this, there's just a couple things to be able to uh, to design um, the look of the ad itself. Um, but it's really self-explanatory and pretty simple. And that's really all it takes to set up some, it, it actually really is easy to set up these dynamic remarketing campaigns. And again, um, these, I have this daily budget set to about $10. Um, you can play around with that a little bit, but you know, you could start with $5, $10. You could do $20 if you wanted to. You may or may not, depending on the amount of traffic that you're getting, actually hit this daily budget. Um, if you notice that it's performing well, um, it may be a good idea to, you know, tune it up or if it's underperforming, then it may be a good idea to turn it down a little bit and vice versa or turn off or turn on specific campaigns. You can analyze this data, you know, seeing what the clicks, seeing what the CTR you're getting. If you're getting conversions, obviously don't kill any campaigns that are getting any conversions, um, or anything like that, unless the cost per conversion is completely out of control. Um, and you're losing a lot of money in that case, then you can go ahead and kill it. But again, guys, as such a small budget, like we're talking about here, you shouldn't be losing too, too much money. So again, guys, that is Google retargeting. And I hope you guys like this app. You can also do this with Facebook that I'm not going to explain here, but essentially all you have to do is the same exact steps. Um, if you have a business manager account within Facebook, then you can connect this to your business account on Facebook. And this will allow you to, again, it, to display ads on Facebook. So like when you see those ads, like when you're scrolling on Facebook, if you've ever done that before and an ad pops up, you know, based on a site that you've uh, visited um, or something that you're interested in, then this will allow you to also put those ads, not only on Google and in, different, in the display network, but also on Facebook as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, get ROI Hunter set up on your store. Again, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's totally worth it. And you guys are going to easily be able to set up some really awesome retargeting ads. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.